and welcome to your Go Market update for today, the 1st of August 2022, with Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets. And let's have a check in on what's happening in the news today. Of course, on Friday, we saw the US markets close higher again to confirm really a very positive market vibe. We had approval of earnings performance and the feeling that a soft economic landing is possible, that we're not going to get a major drop in economic conditions. US futures, however, are lower, and this is not helped at all by weaker early PMI data out of Japan and China early this morning. As a result, Asian indices have come off their highs and are quite mixed at this stage. The Chinese and Hong Kong indices to the downside. ASX is managing to hold positive territory and around about 0.35% of the upside. European futures have dropped off a little bit, suggesting a flattish open this afternoon. US dollar index remains under downside pressure, moving to monthly lows and gold to flat today after a really strong move, of course, throughout last week. All has pulled back after a test of $100 and is weaker after Chinese data, sitting around about 107 at this stage. The VIX has dropped again to new 14-week lows, around about the 22.5 level at this stage, which suggests that market confidence is returning and copper pausing today on the back of that Chinese data after hitting monthly highs on Friday. Bitcoin is weaker today. It did test the previous week's highs on Friday at 23,700, but it's really paused around that level since. And it is a quieter earnings day in the US. It's an otherwise very big week. And also, of course, today we've got PMI data coming out of the Eurozone and the US, and this will be important. We wanna see economies still in expansion rather than contraction. And that is expected to be the case, though numbers are softer than last month. Later on in the week, we've got interest rate decisions out of the UK and Australia, the latter being tomorrow, and US earnings and, of course, jobs week will dominate market sentiment throughout the week. A couple of charts that caught our eye this morning. There's some significant strength in the yen across the board, and we can see here on the Canadian dollar yen, uh, we've got a push down towards this 103.30, trading towards the lows of the session, breaching this previous support at around about 104 and looks as though a significant move could be on the cards if we look at the 30 minute chart you can see we opened pretty flat and then dropped off significantly in the last couple of hours or so paused around about 103.31 watch 103 as the next key level on this but it certainly mirrors what's happening across many yen pairs we're going to have a look at a us stock and Ford Motors reported last week. We had a pretty significant move up on Friday, and those who are part of our live updates uh, will have known that this was our chart of the week. We had a very strong session on Friday as well. This has taken us up to an interesting level, around about 480. We see plenty of upside in this. There seems to be some confidence back in this sector, which has not performed well over previous weeks. And so a move up to around about 15 and a half looks very much on the cards in the first instance, which is around about 5%, but maybe even as high as $17 or $18 in the medium term. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.